Well, I called it. Presidential election is over, and I said that Obama was going to win. Primarily due to the fact that he will be the candidate of the lesser of two evils. Which doesn't really mean much when the entire electoral system is a complete fraud anyway. Now, what I would like to do is focus less on what uh, regional preferences actually went towards Barack Obama winning the election and focus on some issues that I think are actually more important than uh, regional subjective preference. When it comes to the ele came to this election, there's uh, one thing that remained constant here that it did throughout uh, a lot of the Democrat history, and that is Barack Obama had the black, Latino, and youth vote. This is nothing new. The Democrat Party almost has a complete monopoly over these groups anyway, because, well, the GOP hates these groups and continues to demonstrate that on a daily basis. But I think with this election and the fact that Barack Obama actually is a minority works out very much for him in getting even more support. So even parts of the youth or parts of the minority that would not normally vote for uh, a Democrat would actually come out more in support of him during this election, particularly seeing how much of the racism has actually increased in the country since his uh, first election. So I think that's a very important factor in favor of Obama. Now another good point to bring up when it comes to uh, understanding the support for Barack Obama, I think it would be women's rights. Because quite frankly, women's rights have been under an extreme attack by right-wing forces, particularly the Republican forces, in the last little while in reaction to Barack Obama being elected. I mean, uh, several high-profile women have come out uh, fully endorsing Barack Obama just due to the fact that they're afraid of what right-wing forces of the GOP are actually going to do to their right to health care. And they have every reason to be concerned. Their health their rights to their own bodies are under attack from the right wing. The people who scream endlessly about freedom and how much important it is, they pretty much go out of the way to control a woman or a woman's body as much as they possibly can. It would be nothing but the rational interest of a woman to protect her body and her rights regarding her body from an attack. So in that, the GOP basically drove women right into the arms of the Democratic Party which prompted the uh, Republicans to re respond with the phrase, vote with your ladies' smarts, not your ladies' parts. Which is absolutely insane. To actually relegate a woman's rational choice of wanting to protect her own rights and the control over her body to being some kind of hormone-driven cause that's inherently irrational. And I mean, isn't that, isn't that something that's said about women all the time? Oh, they're so irrational, they're so emotional, they can't think for themselves. Which is essentially what the GOP just did right there. So there should be no surprise whatsoever that women decided to reject the GOP and go with the Democrat Party. It's nothing short of common sense. But I think the main thing overall is the illusion that Barack Obama is the, the candidate of change. Of course, that change never actually came. It was still massively in support of Wall Street, massively in support of war, and support of pretty much everything George Bush actually did, including letting all the people who committed crimes in the previous administration walk free. So despite this gleam that he is changed, he's still seen as the lesser of two evils. Ask anybody who's been shot by a drone strike. Ask anybody who's had their country pounded to death. Ask anybody who's had more soldiers put in their country. I mean, come on, the Peace Prize doesn't actually mean anything. As far as I'm concerned, the Nobel Peace Prize doesn't mean completely anything at all. So, that there. But that's still why he got reelected. He's just seen as not being as bad as Romney. And I think that's essentially what it really just came down to. Now, when it comes to things that were in favor of Romney himself, I do think that he got the Christian vote. I mean... I know it's completely ironic that Mormons aren't really Christian in the views of a lot of Christians, even myself. I don't even really see them as Christian. And Barack Obama is like a regular mainstream Christian. And yet he still didn't get the Christian vote. And Romney did because of the constant scaremongering that Barack Obama is somehow Muslim. And even a recent poll showed that uh, a percentage of the population thought that Obama was Jewish. And that just makes no goddamn sense. I mean, 
I mean, the white Christian vote is gonna is gonna go to to Romney. It's not gonna go to Obama just based on just completely insane perceptions of what someone's religion is. And I've heard you know f uh, whisperings, uh, rumblings from neo Nazis who don't like Mormons at all, who still ended up voting for him just in order to get a black person out of office. And race is going to be a, a huge major factor that's definitely going to play into Romney's hands. Unfortunately, it was not enough to get him the win. A recent study by the University of Stanford, Michigan, and Chicago showed that 51% of Americans still hold a strong racial prejudice. And not only is that really, really high, it's also an increase from when Barack Obama first took office. They did the same study back then in 2008, and it was only 48% of the population who had such uh, strong uh, feelings around race. So this has actually only gotten worse by having a black man as president. So the claim that, oh, we're now in a post-racist world because Barack Obama is president and he's black, <sighs> well, it's completely bloody insane. Racism has actually gotten worse. There's, in, uh, just look at the Tea Party for five minutes. Look at the GOP for 20 minutes, and you can definitely see there's a huge resurgence in racism. I mean, the the insanity behind the whole birth certificate thing is completely ridiculous. It makes no sense. It's it's just completely bloody insane. And we should only expect it to actually get worse now that Barack Obama has actually been reelected. And I definitely do foresee it getting a lot worse. Remember the neo-Nazis that tried to assassinate him when he was first elected? Or was it just the day before he was elected? Something like that. Expect stuff like this to happen in the future. Other such attempts. But I think the one thing that worked in Barack Obama's favor is the fact that he's not particularly seen as being all that Wall Street by a lot of liberals. I mean, he is. He obviously is. He put through the bailouts on Wall Street the same as George Bush did. He continued George Bush's policy of doing so. We should not be surprised by this at all. But Romney isn't just so much pro-Wall Street as actually being Wall Street himself. He is Wall Street. So by contrast, that makes Obama seem really moderate on the situation, when it's really not. They both serve the interests of the ruling elite. And that's not going to change with the race of the president to, uh, to quote low key. It's just it's it's a false perception that's put through the real winner in this election is wall street and it was never going to be anybody else the american people have lost this election regardless of who wins the american people have lost this have just there never really was a choice they couldn't even really win can you lose something that you were never really were going to win at i think that's a good question the fact that uh Obama is here and he's, he's going to continue being the president of the United States, which means nothing's really going to change. The Bush era policies are continue, going to continue to be pushed through and nothing new is really going to be done and nothing new is going to be said. The only thing we have to do is sit back and watch the right wing go completely psychotic over the re-election of this man.